thing about how lucky I am. I've been very fortunate. I'm a lucky dude. This lucky dude is the Honorable Lincoln Alexander and is one of Canada's most prominent black men in history, becoming Canada's first black member of parliament, the first black chair of the Workers' Compensation Board, the first visible minority to hold the post of Lieutenant Governor, and the first person to serve five terms as the University of Guelph's Chancellor. Well, I guess one of the biggest successes is becoming the Lieutenant Governor. That's big. And of course, I'm very fortunate to have met the Queen Percy two or three times and other dignities. Wow. President Bush, I met Pe President Bush. Mulroney, my friend, even though some people don't like him, he appointed me as Lieutenant Governor. Well before being appointed the 24th Lieutenant Governor of Ontario, he served with the Royal Canadian Air Force during the Second World War. I chose the Air Force because the Navy didn't want you. And if you join the Army, you're bound to get shot. <laughs> so I was smart enough to say, well, I'll take the Air Force. Yeah. And I became a sergeant in the Air Force, never went overseas, but I was ready to defend my country. Born on January 21st, 1922 in Toronto, Ontario, to West Indian working-class immigrants, Lincoln has remained a very proud Canadian. Mind you, this is the greatest country in the world, bar none. People by the thousands come here every year seeking justice, work, tolerance, and they get all of that, but it's not perfect. There are still some people who still look at people of color with some disdain and dislike and want to call them names and won't give them jobs, you know, but I think that we're very fortunate to be in Canada, the greatest country in the world, but it's not perfect but show me a better country when it comes to race relations. Although he believes that Canada is on the leading edge in regards to race relations, he still feels very strongly about the importance of Black History Month. And he also believes that every Canadian can do more. I think they should, that you should practice Black History Month every day. But it's a start anyway, because it gives some indication of how black people were treated in the old days they couldn't get jobs, they couldn't go to school, they were isolated. And that's to remind them that from those days to today has changed different, yeah. big changes have been made. I became a Lieutenant Governor, Member of Parliament, lawyer, and all that sort of thing. So it just gives us a moment to look back and see the wrongs that were done to people of color and how much it has changed. It's changed considerably, all for the better, but it's still not finished. Canada sets aside everyone. What's really important is to remind people that people can, in both of our countries, we can reach out and become a Obama. Yes. I'm the Obama of Canada. Among being the self-proclaimed Obama of Canada, Lincoln has been honored to have a school named after him, along with a center, a hall at the Hamilton Club, a parkway, and the list goes on. I'm very touched. I've been very lucky over my life, but I believe in God. I'm in God's hands, and whatever happens to me comes as a result of my belief. And I'm very happy. Over his blessed life, Alexander was the first person in his family to attend university, and he graduated as a lawyer from Osgoode Hall Law School in Toronto and was called to the bar in 1953, just after marrying Yvonne in 1948. So I, I feel quite proud of him. I married a beautiful girl. My wife passed Yvonne. She died some, she lived for, she lived for 50 years. And then I found Marnie Beale. Without her, life would be very drab and very terrible. So I'm a lucky dude. Oh, I have a beautiful family now. I have my, my daughter-in-law, Joyce, my son, Keith, and I have Erica and uh, Marissa. They're about 26, something like that. And I'm very proud of them. And they give me their love every time. They pick me up the phone, say, how are you doing there? Oh, they call me Baba. And I love them. With Marnie and them, I'm living a good life. I have God's blessing. I'm blessed by God.
He recently celebrated 90 years of blessings at the place that he now calls home. So I'm happy. I, I'm, and I, I live in Caroline Place, which is a splendid organization. The staff is good and the food is perfect. And I got a great big suite here and the rent's good. If you could pass on a lesson, what lesson would you want to pass on to young people today? Stay in school because school is the is key to success. And it, that's what my mother told me. Your little black boy, go to school. And I did. I'm still in school. I learn every day. Chancellor Alexander recently added author to his long list of achievements with his memoir, Go to School, You're a Little Black Boy, which is something his mother often used to say to him during his childhood. It's, if, if it was a big sell, it, it's just a, a reflection on my life, just a story of my life from the day I was born. And I brought up my time in Africa, my time as, uh, as a citizen, at the time I went to school, then I got to Osgood Hall, and then I became a lieutenant governor. So the book is a reflection of my life. Right. It's a good seller. Anything you read about yeah. me is always good. Because yes. I'm very careful to speak, because if I fail, they'll say, I told you so. I told you you wouldn't make it. So uh, here I am, 90 years, 90 years young. I believe in God and I pray all the time. I, I'm afraid I don't go to church as much as I should because uh, I'm just lazy. But I pray all the time. I look, I look at your program. And I want to thank you for giving me this opportunity to express my views. And you know what my job is? To stay out of trouble. In Hamilton, Ontario, Mindy Tweedle, 100 Huntley Street. That's a wrap.